our 30 day report out for abdominal medicine and surgeries, transurethral resection of the prostate at RPIW that we had the, well, 30 days ago, but I'm trying to remember the date of the, uh, of the week. 16th of May. 16th of May. Um, so just a refresher for everybody to remind them what the, um, what this RPIW was about. Why isn't that? Oh, gone two slides. So this is our project form. It just represents an overview about what the team were looking at during the week in, in terms of improving um, the clinical checkpoints associated with our TERPS patients and supporting staff understanding their uh, roles and responsibilities in terms of managing patients effectively through that process. It's an important part of our work that we measure both before and after our improvement work to understand how we are, whether we are or are not improving this process for our patients. So our target progress report are measures which relate to the things that we've been looking at in that particular week. So staff walking distance is a common theme that's been through in all of the work we're doing so far. We make our staff walk around our premises to find things and get things an awful lot of the time. So reducing that walking distance is increasing um, our, particularly our nurses' ability to interact with our patients. We always have to measure the lead time from the start and end of our process, and the particular target related to this was to significantly reduce the lead time from uh, admission through to completion of surgery. Um, our quality and defects and our 5S measure related to the availability of a bladder scan in use for this particular type of patient group. And you will see that at the start of this process, it was missing on three out of every four occasions that a member of staff went to, uh, to use it. So the team were looking to um, organise that in a better way and gain agreement from the wider teams who use it to make sure it was available to everybody. So I'm going to hand over to Becky and Eileen, who have the responsibility as process owners for this event, to talk you through what they've achieved after that RPIW week. Hello, I'm Becky, I'm a sister of JFR2, and I'm co-process owner with Eileen. This is our newspaper, which we generated at the end of the RPIW week, which had um, set a problem, identified an action which should be completed, and whose responsibility that was, and when that action should be completed. So one of the variations was the staff knowledge and experience, um, and to com combat that, we did a team wide teaching session, with a presentation, and that needs to be completed by the twentieth of May. Um, there was also a variation in staff knowledge and experience, um, and we delivered a fifteen minute session to the urology MDT team at teaching, which took a couple of months. There was variation in post op, post -op instructions. I think there was like eighteen different post op instructions that the consultants were sending patients to have standard to our feedback with. Um, so we set up a, a template for post instructions which Steve's now used, haven't you? Yeah, we did. <laughs> 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 that was good timing. Yeah. Literally walked in the room. Yeah. yeah. This is our target process report. Um, and as we've already spoke about, we looked at staff walking distance. Um, our baseline was um, to reduce by 50%. 30 days, we are still at the same the baseline. We haven't changed any, but that's because we haven't had one brochure on the wall at the moment. Our lead time was 30, uh, 30 hours, 30 hours, 30 hours. Our day review was 19 hours. That's been now at 30 days, 22 hours. Um, the quality defects, as we've already said, it was missing 75%. That's 30 days to 100%, which was achieved right from the last, quite the last couple of weeks. And uh, six of our environmental health and safety, um, we were at level one at our baseline at the beginning of this week, and we are now at level three. That we've shown uh, this was our well scattered um, area before. We don't have an area now, and that's just like that every single day. We've also got the protocol to go on of the well scattered from J43. Um, we have a book which is signed out. People have to fetch back to the surgeon if it's gone up. Once we start to go on and look for it, you can find it. It's been there all the time. It's now locked to the wall. People have to come and ask the ward. Your ward clerk ringing to chase it to get it back again. Um, this was our level of achievement with our vessels at the beginning, we were shipped on level one. We're now on level three, which is completed, and we're halfway through level four, and we achieved level five. For the last 30 days, we've delivered a 15 minute teaching session to four members of the J42 staff. We presented in Becky's. 
to the a neurology audit and say about our actions and um, talk about the digital medicine project. So this consultant, we looked after one patient, what, one patient's been through Jeffrey Giles um, using the um, template for the paperwork that we've used. Could be the reason, sorry, it's gone through that we didn't use template paperwork. I'll say about the drinking stage and three um, the agreements that I've signed. So I've seen some challenges over the last 30 days, um, especially with getting the Archive Review team as a full team back together because everyone's obviously on different schedules. There were six people I think that did the original Archive Review week, but I think it has been difficult to get them back together. Me and Eileen as process owners of NET, we see each other all the time, don't we? So we talk about it regularly, and along with Nigel who's at David Beavers, because he actually was ma managing the one patient that went through David Beavers this week. Um, it's also been difficult, I think, with the momentum of the team because a lot of it is happening at David Beavers, so it's difficult to keep 42 and 43 engaged. 43 have got the lab scanner, so they're aware that they're doing that, whereas 42 we haven't had them able to go through it on the book yet. Yeah. So I think my staff feel less engaged, so it's more difficult to keep them on board. There's only been unfortunately one patient through um, that has been on the buckler, and they each charged me 22 hours when our target was six hours. But So we've reduced it, but we are. Yeah, in, yeah. We had the pre-op cafe. So that was one of the um, beforehand when we looked at the archive review and we looked at patients that would be suitable to be discharged in six hours. Steve did say that actually patients that had had a pre-op cafe probably wouldn't have been suitable. Um, and also ensuring that the standard work is completed because it's difficult to get everybody together and get all that all the measures actually done. Key learning, um, obviously keeping the momentum is really hard, but Helen, um, it's not even Chris who's out here, they've been really, really good in support and being down with the ward a lot and helped us to keep on board with collecting all of our data. Adherence to agreement and to provide a platform for standard work and planning the RPI review course meetings um, and how the metrics and actions are going to be completed. I think that is a real key challenge and I think the one before found that difficult as well, didn't they? Tim and Steve, if you would, if you might come and say something in the absence of our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, well, thank you, thank you for that. I think mm -hmm. that was very, very, very well presented. Um, I think, in terms of um, the, the, the process, having uh, put the patient through uh, this this week, um, the paperwork has been well received. Yeah. I think. That Going on 
rolling this out to RPIW4, and I think you know your enthusiasm and engagement you've got has energised a lot of the other staff who are really keen to be involved in improving the, the entire pathway for these patients. It should help get them through to discharge better pre identification and so on. So you've, you've rolled that out more widely than just your areas of direct influence, and that's that's a real credit to, to the team that's been involved in it. Um, so I don't, I would say, don't get injected at the fact that progress may slow a little bit because there will be sort of times when it dips a bit, but you will pick it up again, and you'll see, you know, once more TBRP is coming through, that will re-energise the staff, and you'll be able to see progress and test the drift that you've been trying to implement.
and all those other elements, all the other workshops we're going to be bringing in technology. As long as we're in it together, I think we'll, uh, we'll see this coming some really good results. So carry on. It's been a bit of a disconnect. I'd say that's the only thing that's happened when there was so much energy that we were last. So we, we re energize and go again. Has anybody from the audience got any questions?